Welcome to One Minute What The Hell. So here we are playing Sonic Blast Man on the Super Nintendo. Uh, this is a classic beat-em-up game on the Super Nintendo, as you can see there. Uh, this game right here, if I remember correctly, is a game that I actually played at Nobody Beats the Wiz back in the mid-90s. Uh, when they had a SNES kiosk on display. This is the title screen right here. Check this out. Looks pretty damn awesome. Take that. And this is the option menu right here. We have a lot of different things you can do. Player stock number three, five. Let's put five, because I believe that continues. So as mentioned before, uh, previously played this game a long time ago, probably back in like 94 or 95. Had a Nobody Beats the Wiz. It looks exactly like the one I played. It's on probably like a 27 inch tube TV at the time. And uh, one thing I remember is the sprite on the character itself looked huge. I'm used to playing like a NES games back then, so I had an NES for the longest time. So when I went into Nobody Beats the Wiz when I was a kid, I played this, it actually uh, pretty much amazed me. I was really, really surprised by the, uh, the way they, the, the actual game looked. Of course, at the same store, they had a Atari Jaguar on display with the uh, Wolfstein 3D. Uh, that was probably the game that amazed me the most, but this is probably the second most amazing game I've ever played at that store. And uh, as you can see here, the, for a beat-em-up game, it's very, very unique. It's not your typical generic beat-em-up game. Uh, you can actually do some different moves than what you would usually expect. And yeah, the, uh, the graphics look pretty damn cool. You have like a robotic looking character in the game that almost looks like a superhero mixed with a Gundam robot. And I like how when you punch these guys you actually get a little comic bubble that pops up or a phrase that pops up right above them. They'll say smash or whatever the case may be. And the, uh, the voice acting in this game is actually pretty good. When we hear them cringe or you hear them, uh, the main character say tick that, it actually sounds pretty good. The gameplay, it may get a little old if you're uh, playing it for the first time and you're used to your final fight and whatnot. But I think the game's actually pretty fun. One thing about this game is, in Final Fight and Streets of Rage, when you're playing the game, I don't know how I should say it, but you can actually control the stuff that you're doing on screen. The controls on this game are a little... I would say the controls are not quite straightforward. It's easy to play and everything, but... Of course, it's doing the same moves over and over again. You hit up in the Y button, as you can see here. If I could do it, you can actually shake them and throw them just like that. Here we go, more and What the hell's going on here? And of course, after you kick their ass, you can steal their money, which is uh, highly illegal, but it is what it is. And you have an apple that just came out of a trash can and just eat that. It makes you feel a lot better. And you can use your enemies as a weapon, just like in all beat em up games. I would say the more you play the game, the more the controls kind of grow on you. It kind of throws you off at first. And then after probably like 10 minutes, you realize the controls are a lot more easier than uh, what you previously thought. <clears throat> quite similar to the other beat em up games, but it's not quite the same. Sonic Blast Man, I would imagine that it was a beat em up game that was aim aimed towards kids back then. But you still had the guy walking around with the knife, you still had big fat slobs in the game, just like in the other uh, beat em up games. So you still have pretty much your uh, mature content in the game. But the main character was probably definitely aimed towards, uh, let's say, 10 to 14 year old kids. Just like in all beat em up games, the boss is very, very difficult to beat. Not quite difficult, but just a pain in the ass because his health bar doesn't go down that easily. Take that. Whoa, what the hell's going on here? Look at this mini game. Okay. Take that. Thirty feet. Well, I can Take tell you right that. now if this came out in like 
round, of, obviously, in round 2001, this would have been banned real easily. So, whoa, 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 especially that. Look at that. Good thing. It's a good thing that this game released probably five or six years before that happened. That was a pretty freaking awesome mini game. It was actually pretty cool. And as you can see, the level designs do change, and you pretty much get the same gameplay. Awesome mini games. Uh, overall, this game is a hidden gem on the SNES. It is a very, very awesome beat em up game. Highly recommend it. Uh, kind of enjoy playing it better than Final Fight, believe it or not. I think this is probably the one of the best beat em up games on the Super Nintendo. Recommend trying it out if you guys have Super Nintendo or if you have an emulator, wherever the hell you play your games on. Definitely get this game. This game is awesome. Thank you.